morning, guys. Uh, I've already done my makeup. We're already fresh. We're ready for the day. We're gonna be running to clean my car out. Finally, finally. So um, this is just a day in my life. We're gonna see how it goes. So let's go. Well, guys, we got our Starbucks. We got my husband in the seat over here. <laughs> but um, yep, got my normal drink, which is a grande iced vanilla chai latte. And then I got an iced lemon loaf. And the woman who took my order, she's like, scandalous, it's pumpkin season. So I really enjoyed her humor. And I saw my favorite, favorite drive-thru worker. Oh, it tastes so good. Okay, we are stopping so I can get this vehicle cleaned. I can't go back to my home because I'm gonna feel bad having to clean my vehicle and not have my dogs with me. <laughs> they thought they were coming with me this morning and I never leave. So today's very different for me. <laughs> Normally I am with the dogs 24 seven and the fact that they're not here, it's very, very odd, but I need to get this job done. It is filthy in here. It's horrible. I was gonna try and do this about a week or two ago. Didn't get around to it. So today I brought Febreze, trash cans, gloves, and cleaning supplies. supplies. So we'll be all set and ready to go. So let's do it. <clears throat> I had to switch where my car was parked. <laughs> I got a little too, too self-conscious. <laughs> So I'm like, farther in the back, farther in the back, more people are showing up. Ah. Guys, I have to say, if you're cleaning your vehicle, clean your steering wheel and your door handles, because those are what we touch the most, right? Let me tell you, it was gross. It was super dark brown when I cleaned my steering wheel. I was like, that's what we've been touching. That's reassuring. Love it. So when I went to Starbucks today and I saw my favorite drive through worker, he's so sweet. We've talked about my book many times and he's like, how's it coming along? I was like, it's coming along really well. <laughs> and he told me he was excited to read the first draft. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, no, <laughs> nobody reads the first draft except me. There's no way. I mean, food for thought if you are writing stuff. First draft is only for you. It's only for you. Because there's going to be so many afterwards of tweaking. And then I'll be sending the book over to an editor once I'm done doing my own tweaking to see what they say. And then that's a whole draft in itself. And then there's the process of sending it into publishers. I'm in the debate right now of whether or not I want to, like this is far down the road. I shouldn't think about this, but it is in the back of my head. If I want to actually be with a publisher or if I want to self-publish. Because I think, so, so the difference between self-publishing and signing up with a company is cost. So you'll be paid a certain amount of money up front from a publisher, like five, 10, $15,000. If your book sells for the amount they've given you and it keeps on going, then they start paying you. But of course they get a cut. They do the advertising and all that. But if you self publish, you get 100% of the income but you have to do everything yourself. But I mean, kind of already doing that already when you have your own social media and stuff. So I don't know, it's food for thought. And then also there's the, I don't know what it's like when you sign up with a contract. I would like to have 100% control or at least 90% control of my book and the stories that I'll be putting in it. Again, I don't know how it is with publishers. That'll be a process to talk about 
when it does come time for that stage. I mean, my book is coming along really well, I have to say. The last two weeks, I actually have not worked on my book because I've been obsessed with Dreamlight Valley. Like, I wake up and I think about it. Ah, oh, dang it. I'm gonna have to wait another 24 hours. There's some quests that you do in there where it requires you to come back morning, afternoon, and night. And if you miss it, miss one of those things you have to do, you have to wait another 24 hours. It's unfortunate. I don't like that, so. Ugh, it is what it is. I mean, you could change the time. So when it comes to Dreamlight Valley, it actually works with your real time. So wherever you're located, it shows the time of day in the game that you're experiencing. Guys, we're in the car wash. How exciting. See? I love the car wash. Smells good. You get lights. cleaned and I vacuumed with not the strongest vacuums I've ever used. <laughs> Looks like today is going to be one of those days where I'm running errands. Wasn't planning this, but we're already out. I do have to say I wore the wrong shirt. It's a sweatshirt and I'm sweating real bad. For the last few days, we've had cool mornings and it doesn't get too hot, but today is not that day. <laughs> so, I think while I'm out, I'll look at Target while I'm there, see if they got a shirt that I could get. They need to get shoes because the shoes I normally wear to get my nails done, I'm going to the nail salon tomorrow. But the shoes I normally wear got ripped up by dear old Daisy. Her little chewing habits. Okay, I got what I needed, so that's good. Um, I did get two pairs of shoes, so I got these flip-flops. You know, they're only four bucks. This is what I originally had to wear, but Daisy chewed them up. These shoes. You know, they, like, they remind me of a grandma shoe, but also a fashion new work shoe. It's kind of funny. There's cute outfits you can definitely pair with this. Got some more wipes. <laughs> so many next doors looking at me. And then I ended up getting some car fresheners. I haven't seen these before. Oh, okay. So take this, see this little stud, push it up. Now it's activated. And then this little dial right here controls how much you're going to smell. Oh wow, it actually smells really nice. Alright, where to next? We'll see in the next shot where I've gone. I'm at the at-home store. By this point, guys, I think you know that I like birds. I really love flowers. Like, this is my favorite picture. It's on sale, but only for 60 bucks. I'm pretty sure it was like 70 or 80 originally. It's not that discounted. But can you tell? I like boys. Unintentionally. But the real big one is I'm a huge fan of clocks. I love the way clocks look. Like, I wanna get this one so bad. But I have already a ginormous clock and a few little clocks around my apartment already. I completely forgot why I came in here until I saw candles and I was like, oh yeah. I had a reason for being here. <laughs> uh, yeah, this, this is my place. This is my place right here. I mean, look at this. It's so cute. It looks very vintage. I like that a lot. Betty, one day. 
So you guys remember the mirror that I showed you over at Ikea and how parts of it were falling off? Well, you should try getting this one. It's 80 bucks. It's close to what that one costed, but it looks way better. As you can see, like look at the detail. It's grand. Here's this one too, same price. I stopped and got myself some McDonald's. I was craving it. So, but also look at this. I didn't know that they made Dasani bottles like this. That's new to me. I just found out that there's a Bath and Body Works and I was like, candles, let's go see it. Let's go see it. I'm gonna try some things out. I'm excited. I cannot tell you how many stores I just went to. I totally spaced on having to record. I was just really in the moment. I had a great time, but I got a book, part of my McDonald's over there, but I got a book and I got goodies. Now I think I'm gonna drop everything off at home, take my dogs out, and then I, then I have to head straight over to pick up my husband because we gotta go get some groceries. And then I think that's it. Yeah, there was a lot of sales today. And I'm like, I was a part of the problem. I spent money. I lugged all of this stuff up. That stuff is heavy. It's very heavy. I made it in two trips. Those were some heavy trips also. I wish that I did get that shirt. <laughs> but we are done for the time being. I'm gonna pick up my husband in like an hour, like an hour and a half. And then we're gonna get groceries as I keep saying, I'm tired. Guys, I am so bad. I was gonna do an unboxing, but I unboxed everything already. So without further ado, let me show you what my dining table currently looks like. It's not done, but it's a start for Thanksgiving. Look, nothing's ironed. I just placed everything out just so my husband can see what I'm thinking about. <laughs> but I found these plates. Everything is 50% off at Hobby Lobby and I got all of this minus this. But everything else was Hobby Lobby. And look, I found little acorn shakers. They're so cute. These are items that I will actually keep on using throughout the year. Um, well, these, <laughs> these are gonna be seasonal, so is this. But this baby, I love the gold pheasant. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep her out all year long. Something else I was super excited to get at the at-home store is this popcorn bowl. My husband and I, we have popcorn every single day. And I kept thinking it would be so nice to have a popcorn bowl the other day. And then here we go. It's perfect. It's white, simple, clean. I love it. Oh, I actually have an official popcorn bowl. It makes me so excited. And then guys, Bath and Body Works was having a sale for the three wick candles that are normally $25. They're $10 off. So I got four. I got the salted butterscotch, got this. So it looks like that. It's got a little dot on it. I'll clean it up later. I got the pumpkin spice latte. Oh my God! The marshmallow fireside. This is so gentle on the nose, but it's delightful. I love it. And then the fall festival. Okay, look at how cute. I love how cute their candles are. And then I got the book Frankenstein. So I have Dracula and I have Frankenstein. I have yet to read both, but when I do, it's gonna be around Halloween time. Hopefully I can actually finish up the other books that I'm reading that I take forever and I procrastinate. Yeah. I did also get some other stuff as well, but I think I left the last bag in the car, but I'm hoping my husband has mercy on me because they're all so pretty. I also got this. This is a part of the Bistro um, collection over at the at-home store. I did not realize yesterday that I didn't have a pitcher. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, I wanna make lemonade and I have this big jar of lemonade. Like, look at this, this is a big jar of lemonade, okay? 
I need to make lemonade. I was kind of at a dilemma. I was like, I, I need a pitcher. So I got one. It was on, uh, I think it was discounted. I wouldn't quote me on that, but it was just so cheap, even if it wasn't. We're on our way. So, update, I picked up my husband, we got groceries, we just watched the new Rings of Power episode, and I'm gonna go to bed. It's been a very long day, and I had a lot of fun, I got a lot of new things I was excited about, and I'm ready to retire. So, thank you so much for watching and spending this day with me, and on to the next one, here we go.